What's up world? Sophisticated Investing Life here. And today we're gonna to talk about the key, the absolute key, the secret, the holy grail to having long-term success in the stock market. Now, the secret, I'm just gonna get straight to it. It's very simple. You must understand the major type of investment groups out there and pick stocks that multiple types of groups are invested in. That's that's about that's about that's that's as easy as it gets. You must understand the investment types and you must pick stocks that appeal to multiple investment types. So this is what makes that hard. This is why that is hard to do. You see, most of us, you know, we, we naturally go towards one alley. We naturally pick one and we're like, this is the one, this is my claim to fame, and this is what we're gonna do. Now for most of us, we're usually drawn to some variation of value investing. And believe it or not, that is not one of the major investment types. Trust me, trust me, it's not one, um, but I'll touch on it a little bit more later. Now, in choosing an investor type, there's gonna be some market environments that are perfect for you. You're absolutely killing it. And there's gonna be some market environments where you, you just can't explain why are you sucking it up so much? Like, why are we struggling? Why is it so much pain, so much agony? But when you choose a stock that appeals to multiple investment types, multiple different investors, then hey, your likelihood of you having a dry spell or sucky returns, at least compared to the market, is less likely to happen, much less likely to happen. Right, so what are these investor types, you ask? Well, I broke it down to four. There's four key ones. You have quality investors, you have contrarian investors, you have growth investors, and you have dividend investors. Now, as I mentioned before, I didn't really include value investing. And that's because there are actually two different schools of thought within value investing. You have more that lean a little bit more on the quality side and others that lean a little bit more on the contrarian side. For quality, you're looking to, for companies that have below average business risk, right? And that shows in various forms. That shows in share buybacks, that shows in high margins, that shows in little to no debt, and it may even just show in just being an industry leader. Whatever that company's industry is, they're the leader. Um, and this is also in the value-ish camp because there's plenty of quality companies that are growing, but a lot of quality companies are not growing. They're like stagnant, right? So when I think of companies like that, um, you can make an argument for Apple not really growing that much and Coca-Cola. These are two examples of companies that have high margins, little to no debt, generates lots of cash, but the growth kind of eh. But l below average business risk, which is why they trade at a more reasonable valuation. This is primarily the form of Warren Buffett's style. He looks for these type of companies, especially if they're trading too low. Now, speaking of Buffett, if you ever wondered how he became the absolute richest investor in the world, like wealthiest, and it's not even close, there are three secrets he uses, and I am here to share with you those three secrets. Make sure to click the link below, download my free PDF that covers this. The top three secrets that Warren Buffett's used to build and to build his wealth, and how you can take those secrets and build your own wealth. Fast track yourself to get to a six or even seven figure account. Now the second form of investing, Warren Buffett doesn't get as involved in as he used to, but it's contrary investing. Um, this is the investment style that more well-known investors, more well-known prominent hedge fund managers use, like Bill Miller, Bill Ackman, or even Michael Burry of The Big Short. This is definitely his style, going against the grain. Um, and this style tends to have higher than average business risk. There's something going on with the company, but the investor type for this actually doesn't think it's as bad as the rest of the community thinks. They think that the perception of risk is way too high, when in reality, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Um, a lot of these companies include companies that are more cyclical in nature. Um, they might have a lot of debt, maybe more debt than the average company, um, or they might just be in economically sensitive industries. So companies include Micron, for those who keep up with semi semiconductors, you know Micron's always up and down, um, Exxon, and even Wells Fargo. Buffett actually started off more in this style. He even had a little bit of activist in him. You should check it out. But he kind of transferred over time more on the quality side. 
Now the classic opposition to value investing is growth investing. And that's the third investor type. Growth investors are looking for companies that are growing in fast growing industries. So it's not the company itself always, because that can be kind of shaky. You don't want to pick the fastest growing um, company in a, in a slow growing industry. Instead, you want to pick companies that are growing within the industry and the industry is just taking off, right? That's kind of the thought behind growth investing. Um, the more successful growth investing that is. And the biggest question for growth investors is A, is the growth sustainable over a long period of time? And B, how much risk is coming with that growth? I already talked about in my valuation video, uh, well, analyzing any stock video, you know, valuation is a function of growth and risk. Gr growth you can easily see. If you wanna check out that video, check it out in the card, it's great. It'll take you far. Um, but yeah, so some stocks um, that are in more exciting parts that fit this, um, at least the industries. Um, you have the cannabis stocks, of course. You have the 5G stocks and even the robotic stocks. They all play a role in that. Um, and trust me, I will be covering these industries down the road. So no, don't fret, I'm, I'm not leaving you hanging. The last investor type are the income investors. These investors don't really care as much about price appreciation as long as they're getting their dividend check at the end of the day. That's all they ma That's all that matters. And this is actually a very stable investor base as long as you are paying a good dividend and you're slightly increasing it every year. Um, now, in looking to these companies, you gotta make sure they generate enough cash from the business to actually do this because of low interest rates, some companies have been a little sneaky um, and been doing some financial engineering to pay dividends. So you need to watch out for that. Um, but overall, I mean, some companies that have the most stable dividends, um, you got commercial real estate REITs, those are really good. Um, telecom companies like your AT&Ts of the world, and even utility companies are pretty good. Now, with the four investor types, you need to look for companies, like the brain tied all together, look for companies that do well in multiple investor types you want you want companies that can do well across the board maybe not all four but two to three is a good place to, to shoot for for example let's look at lowe's right the competitor of home depot lowe's lowe's pays really good dividends has low debt and it is expected to grow faster than s p 500 over the next five years right so you're you're hitting three you're hitting the income investors in the growth investors and you're hitting the quality investors. I mean, hey, that, that I mean, that's as good as it gets, right? So looking for companies like that is the goal. Um, now for myself, um, if you look at some of my past, past videos, you'll see I was more of a growth investor first, secondary, a little bit more quality, right? That was kind of my style. Um, over time, I have shifted more and more and aligned a little bit more with Buffett with quality leading the race, right? So this channel, Sophisticated Investing Life, is gonna be purely focused not purely, mostly focused on quality investing with an element of growth investing, maybe a little bit of income investing. So that's my style and that's what I'm gonna share with you all. So that's what you have for today. Look for stocks that can go across different investment types and trust me, you're gonna be so successful in the stock market picking stocks. It's gonna be a walk in the park. Maybe not a walk in the park, but you get the picture. Um, also, don't forget to download my free PDF explaining Warren Buffett's secrets. His secrets to build wealth, fast track the wealth building process so you too can hit high numbers. Six, seven figure accounts in a matter of years. It's not gonna take 30 or 40 like investing in a 401k or just in the market alone. So thank you all for watching. Till the next time, and stay sophisticated.